Hey everyone, it's Brenton here in the kitchen. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to be showing you how to make corned beef and cabbage today. I have my brisket here and I have my uh, secret ingredient, the apple cider vinegar. Okay, so we're going to get started with our ingredients. This is the corned beef um, point cut that I'm going to be using. You can see it's a bit of fat in there, but that gives it flavor. Alternatively, there is the flat cut, uh, which is here. In this case, this brisket's a little bit smaller, um, but I'm going to be working with this one. Um, but I just wanted to show you the, the two different cuts. This one's about three and a half pounds or typically three to four pounds. Um, and around St. Patrick's Day, you definitely can find this um, in a variety of cuts. Um, so let's see, I get some cabbage here. I'll be using that at the end. Some red uh, potatoes, which I have more of, but um, these are a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna cut them in half. A uh, bag of carrots. Um, just makes it a little bit more convenient that way you don't have to, to trim them, cut them yourself. Get some uh, apple cider vinegar. Gonna use for some flavor. Got some garlic here. One yellow onion I am going to put in. Got some uh, ground ginger. Uh, bay leaves, actually, which we have in here. We have bay leaves star anise and some black uh, peppercorn in there and um, I'll talk about the star anise a bit more in a minute but this is what it looks like um, this is optional it's a it's an Asian spice that um, adds quite a bit of flavor that I like and yeah there, there's the bag of potatoes I'm gonna use more of those so uh, let's get started okay so I've taken the brisket out of the package I uh, rinsed it and patted it down and I should mention that there was a uh, spice pack in uh, the package that we're also gonna use with some of the other uh, season seasoning I mentioned. So in my Dutch oven, I already uh, chopped up one yellow onion and I chopped up uh, three cloves of garlic. So we're gonna start by taking the brisket and putting it right there in the Dutch oven. And we are going to add the uh, seasoning. And as I mentioned earlier, we got some black peppercorn. I'm gonna do quite a bit. Those are uh, whole. And as I also mentioned, we have apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to use a half a cup, so four ounces. Just add a little bit more flavor. And we have some bay leaves. I have about four smaller ones here. So you want to use a few of those. And so I was talking about star anise. So these are the pods that you can, um, I think you probably get them at Whole Foods. I, I got them at a Chinese market, but um, this is a larger size one. You have to be careful with this. So again, it's optional. It has a little bit of a licorice um, flavor to it. I'm gonna use a smaller one or a, a part of one. Um, you can use more, but it, it, you have to be careful because it is a really strong flavor. So that this is just to show you for context, this is the size of a full one. And I'm gonna add some uh, ground ginger, just a little bit to add a little bit more um, flavor to it. All right, and last but not least, I'm just gonna add some water. You don't have to go super high on the water. You wanna pretty much just get right up to the, the top of the beef because we're gonna be adding in um, so a little bit. We're gonna be adding in obviously the, the other vegetables, the carrots and potatoes later, and of course the cabbage. So, but just for the first few hours as you uh, simmer this um, on the stove, you wanna get the water pretty much right up to the top of the beef. All right, so I'm gonna set this on the stove and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just uh, wanted to check in with you. I have the corned beef um, in the Dutch oven on the stove top. It's been simmering for a bit now. Um, I'm gonna do it for about three hours uh, before I add the veggies in. So um, just wanted to show you where it's at now once I get it on the stove for a bit. Um, and just, you wanna leave it at a simmer for about three hours, depending on the size of your meat. Okay, we've just hit about three hours and the corned beef is looking pretty good. So at this point, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put in uh, some of the vegetables. And so what I did was I had some red um, potatoes. They're quite, they were quite large. Um, ideally you can get the baby ones, but I just cut these up, I quartered them. So those are gonna go in now. So those are in. I'm also gonna add in the baby carrots. I uh, showed you guys a bit earlier. Put those in. 
So I got quite a bit in there. Now the cabbage, um, I'm gonna wait a little bit. So I'm gonna have, have the potatoes and carrots cook for about a half hour before I add in uh, the cabbage. So I'll show you that, that's the last step. Okay, now that it's been about a half hour with the carrots and potatoes um, in the mix, and we have it at a boil, um, we're gonna put the cabbage in. So I uh, quartered the cabbage over here. I'm just gonna add that in. And what you wanna do is you wanna have the cabbage in for about um, 20 minutes or so. Um, 20, 20 should be enough to, to get it um, cooked, but if you want it a little bit softer, you can go longer. So anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up. It's been 20 minutes and we see our cabbage is finished. So that completes the uh, cooking stage and I will show you what the uh, final dish looks like. I'm about to uh, slice the beef. Okay, and this is our final dish. Um, I just cut the corned beef and I hope you guys enjoy and have a happy St. Patrick's Day.